Onivia. League of Legends highlights. Powered by ArcaneBet.com. Bet live on eSports. Ran out of mana. Uh, so he went for the Essence Reaver build. And it was uh, it was okay. I mean, they still didn't win the game, but it was it was better, at the very least, from JD. Yeah, and we also saw a thing mentioned winning lanes, perhaps as... Oh, Dwayne uh, has no mana. Yeah, Dwayne B's out of mana. He flashes the wall, but I, I'm don't, not really sure what he looks to achieve here, because eventually they will be running him down. You'd hope so. I mean, it's going to happen. You'd hope so. You'd, thi you'd think so. It's if just... he actually escapes from this, this could be absolutely... No way. I it's mean, North Spear's coming up. But right. Yeah, the leak comes in. And Ooh. Ginny may be able to get a return kill as the tower damage comes in. But Ming, why are you here? Just turns up. Stop to play from happening. Lick comes up. And RNG make out. So that was... Come over here. Kabe's actually trying to reset the Herald as well by taking <laughs> aggro. Look at him. <laughs> this was, is very, very in. awkward. He oh. might get it indeed. But he's actually jumped into the back line. Pops the Cataclysm. Herald has gone back. Ultimate coming in from the Galio. Oh! oh! Like the meteor that... Made the dinosaurs extinct, just comes in there, blasts him, Mal, eventually gonna have to let Loken go, and he's gonna drop here as well as y 4 is chasing down Doinby. And here they come. <laughs> Following after, Ming gets a concussive blows down, but doesn't get the proc off. And I don't know what Galio is doing, but y 4 is still chasing after Doinby, and he's gonna have to flash. So, yeah, RNG are anyway. coming in. And we're actually just going for another fight for some reason, because Kara is just opening up onto Loken, he's gonna be gobbled up by Tom Kench. But Xiaohu, and actually just everyone, wants him dead. So he's going to die. Mao's going to chase back to his turret. He pops a great health, but he's also going to die because there is absolutely no escaping a Kassadin. And in comes Kabe into the 1 on 3. So we're actually just playing Lemmings right now. Uh, Kara going to take the tower out. He's actually got no way out because he's out. got no flash. So he's going to go down. <laughs> Kabe going. being chased after. He comes in with a quick auto attack for another kill. That's a 4 for 1 trade. And RNG are pretty happy. We're going for this one. The good chain CC right here. And he's going to riff warp. Ultimate use, double ultimate. And the whole team the shows up. That's the ace cast dunk right there for, for JD. Oh, who's down got a good Chow, flank? Who's looking for the flank right here. Has the ultimate coming out from Kara as well. Triple knockup comes down. Followed up by a big oh, cast from Shinji. Could, could be the turnaround coming in. Cataclysm comes down onto Xiaoyu. Not enough damage to kill him, however. And Y4 is just keep, he just keeps on going. Doimi gets a kill off to the side though onto the jungler, but it's still the backline dying. Loken tries to jump back, but he loses his support. Everyone from RNG very low. And I don't know if Kara has recognized this. Shinji jumps into all four of them. And Doimi doing what he can. Time to clean them. Not going to happen. And Loken turns around, but he gets hit by the Winter's Bite. And the Winter War finds the ace. They get themselves the ace RNG. They already secured the Drake, so there's nothing that they need to go towards after this fight. Oh, actually teleport. coming out from both Whoa, Xiaohu okay. and Koro. Need to buy some time. They've already lost the support, though. He died in the Fate's Call, but they're actually just dying already because White Force killing them all by himself. Oh, there's God. the double kill. Looking for the triple. That's actually the double kill to both Xiaohu and the ADC. And Kabe, he just got back to base. He was just like, oh, I, I thought we were not fighting there. And you know what? I can't actually fault JD for going forwards when there's a teleport flanking them, but I don't actually think they even knew there was a teleport flanking them. That was super deep. They'll secure themselves. You would imagine eventually a Baron. Oh, he's out behind. A little there bit of a miss. In. Ming leads the charge, and Zhao, who's coming in for the flank, Doinbi just nowhere to go. He just gets destroyed, and Y4 just unloading on everyone on the front lines. Maybe we can make They're this one the green ace because we've got the gobble up from Tam Kench, but that's another kill. A double kill to the Kassadin. A triple kill going over to the ADC. A full house for RNG. Five to zero. They take the bottom in here, and it's just a little bit too easy, isn't it? 28 minutes in the clock. 28 minutes, you're right. They just wipe the floor with JD Gaming. There's no response from our last place team as RNG destroyed them. A well-earned victory for RNG. Just another day in the office. 28 minutes onto the Nexus. Styling just a little bit as well. Just as punches that one for the win. And that's going to be Nexus curring down for the quick 2-0 to RNG. And we said at the top of the day, as devastated as JD might feel, it is kind of just another day in the office for them.